Hi friends, I'm Mansoor Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss SQL Server Import and Export Wizard. SQL Server Management Studio provides very useful inbuilt feature to move data from one database to another database in same instance or different instance on the same network. Today we will see a step by step process to import data from a database of one instance to another instance. So this is my uh, instance, default instance where I have DB2012 database where we can see these are the tables which we are going to import to our named instance this one SQL2 so we will move these data these tables to this instance right now we can see we don't have any tables here in demo DB so we will import data from uh, DB2012 to demo DB so we will see step by step process how to do that what I'll do uh, in my instance SQL2 I want to move data from DB2012 to demo DB so I'll do right click on my demo DB go to tasks then click import data this window will pop up welcome to SQL Server import and export wizard click next now you can see data source you have already selected okay now this is the window where you have to choose a data source so, so you have to put your server name okay from where you want data either you can type it your default instance name okay in our case or you can click on it it will auto fetch so we can see we want to import data from this server from this server okay to our sql2 so i will select use windows authentication or if you have sql server authentication you can choose this button okay and you can put your username and password i have use windows authentication so i will use it now uh, in database as we have already selected server name so we'll find all the database from this server as you can see all database are available here on the left side you can see i have this database available okay and we want to import data from db2012 so we'll select db2012 click next now choose a destination okay yeah, this will uh, auto come destination and server name okay because we have already uh, right clicked on it so I'll use Windows Authentication database is my demo DB. Now I will click next. Share uh, in this window you have two options, two radio buttons where you specify table copy or query. Okay, so either you can copy data from one or more tables or views, or you can write your query. So I will select it, copy data from one or more tables or views click next now you can see source this is your default instance in our case okay and all these tables are available we are importing this table to our SQL2 instance so if you want particular tables you can check mark otherwise if you want all the tables you can check mark here now all the tables are available this side if you want you can import as it is or you can rename it here no problem like this okay and you have this preview option available you can see this in product is highlighted you can click on it 
you can preview the data okay if you want to change mapping you have button edit mappings you can click on it this is drop and recreate destination table suppose if you want to drop tables which are already available and recreate it you can check mark it otherwise leave as it is okay and you and you have other option enable identity insert if you have an identity column you can use it or otherwise if you want to keep it as default you can keep it okay if you want to change nullable you can change here if you wanted this is source column name your destination and your type okay so i'll just click ok then next here you have two options save and run package either you can run immediately and go to next or if you want to do the same process but you don't want to follow all this right click import data okay and all those tables uh, if you have requirement that in future you have to do the same process again and again then you can save SSS package you can uh, put your package on SQL server or file system I'll just give one example to keep on file system package protection label you can select here do not save sensitive data encrypt sensitive data with user key encrypt sensitive data with password encrypt all data with user key encrypt all data with password for example I will select this encrypt sensitive data with password so it will prompt you to enter password so for example I will keep one two three four five six for example okay I'll click next you can give your package name and give import export you can select your file name you can browse and select your path for package I have selected it on desktop you can give your path I'll click next now you can see this is complete the wizard for verification it is giving you information for source location destination location and you have table details which are copying rows from this table to this table and the new target table will be created and about package package will be saved on this location we'll click finish now this performing operation you can see status success success and this is moving data now you can see all the data of this are copying to this okay this is success and rows transport number of rows it will show we have one warnings you can ignore it this is just warning no problem at all you have report if you want to view report you can see here All the details are available for report purpose if you want it you can save a report to file or copy to clipboard or you can send on email I'll just close it now we have imported data from our default instance to our named instance so we'll just refresh this table now we have all the tables from this database DB 2012 to demo DB. So it completes our import tutorial. Now we have saved our package. So we'll go to see our package. This is import export. So for example, next time if you want to import it. Okay, so 
I'll, for example, I, I will delete it right now uh, so that we can use package. I'm dropping all the tables which we have imported so that next time we can use package. just refresh it now I don't have any table on this database okay now I'll go to my package double click on it and you can see execute button is there click on execute now my package execution progress is going on as you can see finished you can close it okay I will close this package utility I'll go to my uh, SQL2 instance this is my database I'm refreshing table now we can see we have saved our time and we have just executed package and all the data all the tables have transferred to this instance so, so we have completed this important export wizard in SQL Server Management Studio thank you for watching my video if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and newsletter if you want to uh, read the text you can visit my website sqlserverlog.com and you can see SQL Server import and export wizard it is given in detail you can refer it thank you